Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with more recaps from round five. Sorry we did it after round six, but that's just to confuse the audience. You guys were confused before the recaps anyway. This is the game Hikaru Nakamura versus Jan Nipomnishi. Jan in first place, of course. Hikaru a fan favorite. Let's have a look. Every game Hikaru has had, all six, have started E4, E5, irrespective of whether he's white or black. Knight F3, Knight F6, a Petrov. Knight takes, and we see one of these main lines, knight c6. In another game this round, we saw the move bishop f5. I did a recap of that game also. Castles, bishop e7, c4. This is the old main line, knight b4. Bishop goes back to e2. Bishop f5, takes, takes. Many, 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 many games in this position. Rook e1, rook e8. Rook a2, the rook wants to double up on the bubble up. Always double up on the bubble up. Always play bishop f8. Takes, queen takes, attacking the rook. c4. Now in this position, uh, the two most obvious moves are queen d6 and queen, d and queen d7. Jan pretty quickly played queen e4. I assume, well, I did assume this is his prep. But it's not good prep. <laughs> yeah, I think queen e4 is a mistake. I think queen d6 and queen d7 are, 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 each one should lead to equality. Queen e4 gets the queen in trouble. Bishop f1. Now the engine says queen b1 is best, followed by queen a1. Okay, and I think the people at Fox News might say something about this because that looks crazy. Yeah, if that's the best line, probably not a good line for black. Always play bishop f1. So I think queen e4 is just a mistake. I don't think that's going to be played in the future. Bishop f1 attacking the queen. Queen b1 was not to Jan's taste, so he played queen g4. The engine says black is just has a bad position now. He keeps getting his queen knocked around. Rook e1, queen e1, queen back to e4. Rook e2, the point of rook a2. Queen to d3. Now it doesn't like queen b1 at all because rook b2 and we're going to win this pawn. d5 first, win this pawn on b7. Uh, so he played the move queen d3, which looks pretty dangerous. I mean, this rook can move anywhere. Um, if rook e8, we luckily can take the rook and attack this queen at the same time. So there's not really a winning move per se. The engine wants to play rook b2, attacking the queen and the b pawn. That's what Akaru did. Queen e4, rook back to e2, always repeat. Rook e3, that's a fine move. Queen has to go to b1, queen's trapped. d5, knight to e7. We can't win two pieces for a rook because our bishop on c1 isn't protected. So that would be bad for white. And this position... Knight, D, knight d2 is okay. Knight d4 is a good move. The engine likes g4, Matt Larson style. Knight d2 is fine. Queen a1, knight to b3, queen f6. Up until now, I have no qualm with any move Nakamura made. The engine said he's plus 1.5 and just wants him to play chess. Bishop d2, g3, bishop c3, bishop g2, h4, and just slowly advance on the king's side and center, and black is very passive and doesn't really have a good plan. Instead, Hikaru played very aggressively and put his pieces on what he thought was a good square. Bishop d2 is a good move, knight g6, and now he played the incorrect knight a5. Forcing b6, knight c6, he thought, wow, my knight's great on c6, look at that knight. Unfortunately, after bishop d7, black is just threatening to win a pawn. And so this actually gave all of his advantage away, these, this careless idea. He needed to slowly build his position and not put his knight on a square where it can get captured. And now the engine says that white has no advantage. It went from plus 1.5 to just nothing. So knight, knight a5 to c6, one bad idea from Hikaru, and black is fine. Hikaru, not liking what he did, found a repetition. Bishop c3 attacking the queen, and they just repeat moves. Uh, Magnus Carlsen commentating said, Black should realize 
that white threw his advantage away and play for the win with queen g5. Not that black has an advantage, but just to put his foot on the gas, like, ha-ha, you were better, now you're not. So I'll play queen g5. Of course, then black's not threatening to win a pawn anymore. The position is still fine. <clears throat> but I think Jan had enough today. He moved his queen about 20 times. He thought drawing would be a good result. The players repeated, and the game was drawn here. A lucky escape for Jan, who made lots of queen moves that game, and most of them were necessary. But probably queen e4, the opening, I don't know if it's a novelty, will not be repeated in future games because black got a pretty bad position. Thanks for watching my recaps of round five. Sorry I wasn't able to watch uh, the round live with you guys, but duty calls. <laughs> duty. And I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow's a rest day, or it's today's a rest day, depending on when you're watching this. Friday's a rest day. Round seven is Saturday. I'll see you guys Saturday. You can watch live at twitch.tv slash GM Benjamin Feingold and watch the recaps here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.